right ahead. Okay. My name is Beverly Buckman, and I am with the Apple Cooking Sale from St. John, and we have been doing this maybe 44 years, and I've done it 42. And we're going to show you how we make the cookies. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we don't have the guys here. Okay, these are the apples that we have washed. And then they go on the apple peeler. Then they quarter them. And the ladies in here. You're all in the video. Yes. And here are the ladies. Oh, she she like pours out. To smile. They're all laughing about it. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm picture of Jan. She's got her jacket on. They'll think this all place right. is cold. <laughs> yeah. How many how many do you get done in like a day or an oh, hour? Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Right. Do you go home and your fingers smell like apples? No, no they're, they're all shriveled. Shriveled. They're all shriveled up. And today we get a sample of them. Yeah. We make a couple and we have lunch after a while and we're all looking forward to the pot. <laughs> well, thank you for your help. All right. Now we're going to Back into the kitchen. Don doesn't have any apples in here, but he takes the apples like this, and then he puts them in here in the mixer, and he slices them. And then they come over here in our bowl, and then we add the flour and the sugar and the fruit crust. How many are you making at a time there? How many you have? Enough for, enough for nine crusts, I believe. Okay. I can't right now. This butter's got to go in, buddy. And then we need to squeeze the apples to dry them out so yeah. the cookies are not so uh, wet. So this gives it a nice concentrated apple flavor. Okay. They're like this in the pan. Then they come over here to me. Oh, we don't have any strice to put on? No, no. not yet. Okay. We're making right. strice. Okay, we'll come on to you. This is quite the operation. Right. How many volunteers do you normally have there, Beth? About 60. 60? Over the three days. Okay. Okay, now then we put the topping on and the cinnamon, and then they go in these bags. Then we have a label that we put on them. And then the orders go out. They all have to be ordered. Right. This is quite for, the assembly line. Thursday, yes, Thursday and Friday we sell the apple cookins. And we usually sell about 530 or 540. And the right. people have to bake them then. Right, and they're $7. They're unbaked, yes. How long does it take you guys to normally sell out? Less than a day, correct? Two days. Two days. We have two days that we have the orders for, yes. How many has one person like ordered that's um, been like a record? Well, Sheila, Sheila Gasky is one of our good people that sells. Tell her how many. I sold 150 orders this year. <laughs> Out of tell 500 them, and tell some. Them it's family and <laughs> yeah, friends. well, the ways I got those is I have a sister who works at a baker's cheese factory up in St. Cloud, Wisconsin, and she had orders from people up there for 35 of them. I had orders oh, for no, over 40 coupons for the people at Meadowbrook okay. Manor where I live, <laughs> and then I had orders from Man um, Walgreens where I worked for 27 coupons too <laughs> from employees. Whose recipe is this, Beth? It's from St. John's Cookbook. Right. As it should be. Yes. yes. And other relatives ordered. That's right. how it come. It got to 150 this year. <laughs> and Judy, you have, before you leave, have a piece of the coupon. Yes. We will do. We'll give it a taste test. Thank you. Right. Thanks. And then the money raised? It goes for, most of it is for church, and then a certain percentage goes to our school. And we give a couple hundred to our quilting group. Mm -hmm. Are you the uh, oldest volunteer that's been with the group the longest? No, the longest. The longest. Probably our oldest one, maybe is late 80s. Mm -hmm. Why is this um, good camaraderie? 
Well, it's good fellowship, and we get a lot of new younger people to come and join all of us, and then they come back the next year because they had a good time. And you guys normally start taking orders when? Because we're a little bit past now. Right. It's um, usually we start in August, and then we do it for like about six weeks. Right. Thank you very Thank much. You. Great success you. for you. Thank you.